This Saturday, the United Kingdom will witness the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla, the first coronation in more than 70 years. And for that, the country is pulling out all the stops, a three-day celebration including street parties nationwide and a grand public procession. But there's one question that appears to be on a lot of people's minds. How much is this all going to cost and who's paying for it? Well, in short, the answer is that it is complicated. As with Jubilees and other similar events, well, the total cost uh, isn't known until months, even years after the actual event. But according to the organizers of the ceremony, uh, well, the estimated coronation will cost approximately 113 million euros. And because it's a state event, well, taxpayers are footing the bill. The late Queen Elizabeth's coronation cost 1.5 million pounds back in 1953. That's the equivalent of 56 million euros in today's money. And the higher price tag this time for Charles's coronation is mostly due uh, to security, especially when it comes to uh, potential risks of terrorist attacks, which wouldn't have been such a big issue back in the 1950s. But as the UK suffers a cost of living crisis, people on social media, such as, for example, uh, this Twitter user, have been quite angry uh, that the royal family is organizing a lavish event. But the Crown explained uh, King Charles is aiming to slim down the celebrations. The ceremony will be shorter than than his mother's. It will last about uh, 90 minutes to maximum two hours instead of three hours. Charles is also inviting fewer people, approximately 2,200 foreign leaders, compared to the more than 8,200 uh, guests who attended Queen Elizabeth's coronation back in 1953. Uh, in addition to that, uh, King Charles will also opt out for a military uniform instead of a custom-made and very expensive coronation outfit. But for some, this is clearly not enough. Graham Smith, the CEO of the anti-monarchy group called Republic, said that the coronation was an expensive pantomime and he expects it to cost more than 280 million euros for taxpayers. But for some royalists, this is all worth the money. They argue that the uh, worldwide TV rights for the ceremony will cover the costs, as well as all of the tourists who will travel to the UK for the ceremony. But according to the consulting company Brand Finance, the wedding of William and Kate brought in more than 1.5 billion euros for the British economy in 2018 alone.